Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be doing a room tour for 400 subscribers. Before we start, I just want to say thank you so much for 400 subscribers. We hit it a couple days after it was our one year anniversary, and I am so, so, so grateful for all of you watching. And I hope you like the new background, and I also have my filming light up there. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I did a video like this whenever I first started, but I did a room tour at my dad's house, so this is going to be um, one of my mom at my mom's house. So yeah, let's get right into it. So here is the door. It's plain white, you know. <laughs> kind of goes with my room, though. And then over here I have some hangers. I have this homemade, like, seat that I made for camping for, like, Boy Scouts and stuff. And then I have some of my old backpacks that I don't use right now because I don't go to uh, um, in-person school. I do online school. And then um, over here is my bed. Um, it's super cozy. And I love... Um, my room is just very aesthetic in my opinion. A lot of purple and, and like white you will see. And then the... like the What would you call this? The thing of my bed is white with gold. Like flower details and stuff i really love it i've had this bed for like ever since i was like three or four years old so yeah and then over here i have a dream catcher i love dream catchers and these are my two favorite colors purple and blue um and then here's a window as you see there's the outside of my house and then moving this way here is my filming area now a lot of times i never film on my desk because it's always like filled with stuff but now that it's cleaned off now, I'm hopefully going to be making more videos on my desk. And as you can see, I have You Are My Sunshine on this, like, sign. And then I also have these seashells and, like, shells and stuff from Nassau, from the Bahamas. Because um, I went there in January and it was amazing. I miss it so much. Oh. And then over here, I just have a random LPS accessory which I'll put in here. And leading on to over here. So, this is my LPS collection and some other, like, random props and stuff, like these, like, little trash cans and stuff, some unfinished customs and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Please close. And then this bin is kind of overflowing. These are my fidgets and other things. If you guys did not know, I just started collecting fidgets pretty recently. I have tons of poppets that I got from the hospital. I have DNA ball, uh... The Orby ball is missing from here. This whole bag of mochis, this weird worm thing, and I have some props like this hat, this backpack, and stuff like that. I also have an Elpis car down there, and this is one of my favorites. This squishy pineapple with like this foam slimy stuff in it, which I think is so cool. Maybe it'll close quickly for the video, please, please. Yay! Almost. And then down here, I have all my new inbox LPS. I did a video on my LPS channel about my new inbox LPS collection, so if you guys want to go check it out, I will um, leave it in the description. And then up here, I have this bin with just some random stuff, a microphone, which I should probably use. It's actually my brother's, but, you know, maybe I'll use it in the future. It, you can do, like, different sound effects. Like, let me turn it on for a minute. Where's the on button? Looks like it's out of juice. Oh well. And then over here I have some random things. I have this other Beanie Boo accessory. It's from the OG dolls. Um, then some Sharpies and stuff that I use for customizing. A random bouncy ball. Stuff like that. And then I'm not going to show that bin because it has my money in it. And then right here I have some more props. I have like this um, school like teacher locker thing. I don't know what to call the things today. And inside, there's little mini things. And these are actually real post-it notes, um, which I think is so cool. And then there's a notebook, some pens, some paper. And then, in here, even more stuff. And this is probably one of my favorite drawers because there's a mini glue, mini crayons. Oh, so cute. I wonder if the crayons actually work. I doubt it. I could try that eventually, though. And then the last one, we have some bigger props, like a um, geography book, I think. Yeah, some folders and stuff like that. 
And then over here, I have this big desk that I got in a set with this. And on it, I have random LPS plates I use. They're not actually LPS, they're um, calico critters. And I also have a little passport, which is something I got for Beanie Boos because it's really nice sized. I would suggest getting stuff from the OG dolls because they are perfect scale to Beanie Boos. Not exactly like the sets, like the like this desk, but things like this locker kind of thing and like a school teacher locker and um, a passport and stuff. Those are perfect. And then over here, I have something I use for LPS videos sometimes. It is this like wooden house kind of thing. If you open it up, it just has like these two compartments. But I like to use it as like out like the outside of the house, um, which I think I think it's really cool, really nice detailed. It feels like real wood. Yeah, and then over here I have more sharpies. I have this thing that I use in my LPS Mermaid series. Go watch it on my other channel if you would like. Um, my uh, my LPS channel is called LPS Magical Productions. And then I have this fake grass for videos that I have not used yet because I'm just so scared that it's going to be super powdery. I don't know if you can see, but it looks pretty gross. I don't know. <laughs> then over here, I actually have a uh, rainbow light, which we've never set up yet. I also have one over here, too. And then I have my paints for LPS customizing, paintbrushes, all that good stuff. Over here is kind of random. We just have random things over here. And then up here, I have this really old doll that my mom gave me. These miraculous pop figures. This donkey that I got from um, Bahamas. Up here, I have like this like coconut that we got from like a like a food fest or whatever um, a couple of years ago. Well, actually, a bunch of years ago. And then this volcano I made. Um, this like beehive house I made and stuff like that. These were all pretty old. And then over here, I have another one of those things from the Bahamas. Oh, this is my name on it. I got to blur that out as well. And then we have this little clay model that my brother made. Super cool. And some other random stuff like my Girl Scout candle. I no longer do Girl Scouts, I do Boy Scouts actually. Then over here, I have some LPS from my OGs. Some like this LPS Lover 2 I want. I have a custom back there. And I also have a Fantasia tie purse. And then over here, we have some beanie boos. This is only some of my beanie boos. I have some of my pink beanie boos, some of my bigger beanie boos, and this a random shelf. <laughs> um yeah, I have some of my favorites, like Darlin. Or is it Darlin? I think it's Darlin and um, Cookie and Buckwheat. And then over here, that's my mom's. That's my mom's. Don't don't look at that. <laughs> um, I have this random box of cords. And then over here, I have some drawing books and like some color in books, which I haven't used in a while, and I probably should. I have so much stuff that I just don't use, but I probably should. And then over here. I have my precious only part of my Beanie Baby collection. If you guys did not know, I recently started collecting Beanie Babies, like about the time that I got home from the hospital. We went a lot of thrift shopping and I found so many of these. And I just like, you know what? I want to add them to my collection. I want to make a Beanie Baby collection. Some of my favorites are this Ethiopian wolf. Um, this dog, I, he reminds me so much of Root Beer just me toughy he has the name of an actual beanie boo though and um like this ostrich or emu i don't know and then up here here are some of my favorites this collie which is so cute reminds me of one of my dogs and then we have this really cute i think it's a cockapoo not too sure but it's really cute and then also this husky which reminds me of like a beanie baby version of slash and then up here, I have some of my medium-sized Beanie Boos that are some of my favorite medium-sized Beanie Boos. We have Slick, which I've had since 2017. I got him during a field trip. Rainbow, Frost, I got her for my birthday last year. And, of course, my big classic Snicky. <laughs> and then I also have a ginormous Kiki. And then down here, I have some more Beanie Boos. 
Um, some of the Beanie Boos from the shelf are missing. But, uh, yeah, I have some of my favorites. Oh, this is my other Cancun. I don't, I don't know. This is my double Cancun. I have, like, root beer. I got him from my brother. The lighting is so bad over here. I'm so sorry. And, um, yeah, some more big ones. And this actually was my first ever stuffed animal. I've had it ever since I was a baby. I love her. Then down here, I also have a big slush and some more Beanie Boos. Slushy boy. And then this is my closet, but I'm not going to show you guys that. And then last but not least, we have my Squishaboo. Another Squishaboo pig. An icon. And then over here, we have, this is the last section of my room. Filled to the brim. Beanie Boo shelves. This is pretty random. I want to eventually do a Beanie Boo organization video. Here's some more. And then... That's not all the Beanie Boos, because we have more! This one, this box is for my brother, this is his, his stuff. But I have three boxes full of Beanie Boos. I don't know what Glamour's doing in there. Glamour, I need you, help! Um, anyway, um, yeah. So yeah, guys, that was my room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!